Good morning again, guys. Uh, welcome to today's Grip on God's Word. Uh, I'm loving the wisdom that we're getting through this book of uh, Proverbs right now, guys. And I, I think we're going to get a little more wisdom right here today. Uh, let's jump into some of that wisdom right now. My title, What Snare is Getting You? My G, guys, today is Proverbs 13, 14. And let me read that. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life turning a man from the snares of death. We're going to talk about that word snares a lot right here today, guys. Last month, my reveal. Last month, we saw Jesus use Scripture to counter Satan's lies in Luke. I sometimes have to let Scripture talk to me about other Scriptures. So today, when I'm thinking about these snares, I was kind of interested in, in how many times does God talk about snares in the Scriptures. So I looked up the word snare, and one site that I looked at said that snare is used 77 times in the Bible in 12 different versions, and it is used 12 times alone in this book of Proverbs. It's obvious God wanted us, me, to look out for snares. I got four verses I want to look at, you know, with letting Scripture look at Scripture this morning, guys. This verse 13, 4 we just read. I'm going to turn back a couple of pages right here, and we're going to look at verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 22. The evil deeds of a wicked man ensnare him. The cords of his sin hold fast. Then if we look at uh, chapter 7, verse 23. Till an arrow pierces his liver like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. And then in, in chapter 22, we see another verse right here, guys. In, in uh, verse 5 of chapter 22. In the paths of the wicked, the thorns and snares, but he who guards his soul stays far from them. Guys, wow. We need to stay away from snares. Again, 77 times in the Bible, uh, using 12 different translations, and 12 times in, this, in the Proverbs that we've been looking at this week. So my implementation today, guys, how do I avoid snares? I got five items. Number one, I got to let Jesus lead my life. Number two, I got to trust Jesus. Number three, I got to pray on a regular basis. Number four, I got to put a good community of believers around me to call me out when I don't do the right things, when I'm getting ready to get caught in a snare. Number five, You've heard me say this often. You got to walk it out daily, Lord. And we just got to do that every day. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again for the scriptures. Lord, thank you when you do things like this. You use the word snare and you throw it out of 77 times in the Bible. Surely you don't want us to get caught in snares. And that this world is loaded with snares, Lord. And, you know, the only way we can avoid them is to let Jesus Christ lead our life. And then we need a community of men to help us like that, like we got right here in His grip. And we need to be in the Word every day, praying to you to lead and guide us and help us. And that's what we're doing right now, Lord. Just lead, guide us, and help us. Thank you for everything you do for us. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I'm not going to make you confess today, but what snares do you have? What are you doing about them? If you need help, contact us. But more importantly, let Jesus Christ lead your life every day. And then you got to have a plan to avoid the snares. Whatever snares are getting you, you need to have. You need to work on that, guys. And you need to uh, just have a plan that says, "I'm gonna let Jesus lead my life, and I'm not gonna get caught up in the snares of this world." Let me pray us out, Heavenly Father. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for some of the things we've learned in Proverbs already this past few weeks. And, you know, you refresh us and you take care of us and you'll save us and you'll be by our side, Lord. Well, as we come across these things we've called snares today, we just ask you to be with us, keep us away from them and just take care of us. Again, 
Thank you for the guys that are looking in on this video today, and I just ask you to help them in their everyday walk, walking it out in a way that pleases you. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a good day.